Hello everyone. Thank you all for coming to my presentation today. My name is Yosuke Ito. I'm from Japan and major in electronics at Ritsumeikan University. I'd like to talk to you about effectiveness of carbon fiber as a binder in double-layered bucket paper electrodes. Let me show you the outline of my presentation. I'll be speaking for about 10 minutes. First, I'll give an overview of the research and then I'll talk about the purpose of the research, the content of the experiment, the results, and the consideration. Okay, let's begin. First of all, I'll talk about my research theme. My research theme is effectiveness of carbon fiber as a binder in double layer bucky paper electrodes. Bucky paper is a thin film made from CMT. CMT has a shape like rounded one layer of graphite into a tubular shape. This cylinder is called single wall CMT for one layer and multi wall CMT for multi layer. And this time, March World CNT was used because of inexpensive. The strong point of CNT are high electrical conductivity, thermal conductivity, and heat resistance. So CNT is a very beautiful material in the field of electrical and electronic engineering. Bucky paper is seen film materials made of carbon nanotubes. In general, bucky paper is made by CVD method, but in this work, made by solution filtration method and it allows simple creation. Bucky paper has same strength as CNT, so bucky paper is also useful in the field of electro chemistry. In addition, bucky paper is a seed, so it is easier to process than CNT. And since bucky paper is made of CNT, which is very fine material, it has a large surface area. The aim of my experiment is this. Evaluating electrodes made of CNT using material batteries. Demonstrate the usefulness of ozone treatment. Material batteries which was used in this experiment is this. Material batteries react with oxygen in the air to react electrons. Therefore, the surface area of the cathode greatly affects the performance. Next, I explain how metal air batteries works. As shown in the figure, aluminum changes into ions at the anode and oxygen is taken in the cathode. Overall, oxygen flows and electrons flow in the process to air changing to AlOH3. Next, I will explain how to create bucky paper. Bucky paper was prepared using suction filtration method. It was made by dispersing CNTs in an aqueous solution and passing it through a filtration filter. Bucky paper peeled from the filter paper has cellulose on it. So remove cellulose using ironic liquid. After that, Wash with 100 degrees water to remove the ironic liquid, adhering to bucky paper. Bucky paper is very thin and has little capacity to hold electrons. So increase the volume by overlapping and increasing the capacity. The created bucky paper was overlapped with CNT as a binder and baked and flattened under pressure. Finally, the remaining surfactant was removed by baking at 300 degrees. 
ozone treatment was applied to clean the surface of bucket paper. Ozone excites electrons in the air and eradicates the surface of the electrode to float and remove impurities. A gel type aluminum air battery was produced. The structure is shown this. The size of the electrode is the same as that of the aluminum plate. The bucky paper is described as bucky paper hyphen N in which N seats are stacked. The anode was fixed to an aluminum plate and the power density of the aluminum air battery was examined. This is a comparison of the power density. The numbers in the graph correspond to the numbers in the cathode of table. The thing which carried out bucket paper with three layers and upright ozone treatment was the highest, and no ozone treatment became high next. From this, it was confirmed that the output was increased by ozone treatment. In comparison between two bucky papers and three bucky papers, it was found that the output increases as the film thickness increases. In addition, it was found that the power density per volume of bucky paper was higher than that of carbon sheet, since bucky paper having half or less film thickness. The internal resistance was lowest for ozone treated bucket paper, followed by untreated bucket paper. This result shows that CNT is highly conductive and ozone treatment lowers internal resistance. This is a measurement result of the EDS. It examines the composition of a substance. This result shows that impurities are reduced after ozone treatment. There are same images. You can see that bucket paper is cleaner than before ozone treatment. This result also shows that impurities are reduced after ozone treatment. This is a measurement result of the long time measurement. You can see that aluminum air battery using bucket paper generates electricity for about a day. This indicates that this electrode is stable for a long time. This is a measurement result of the CV, cyclic voltmetry. Almost no change in 5 seeps. It can be seen that the power generation characteristics do not change depending on the number of times the current is appealed. This indicates that this electrode is scientifically stable. Bucky paper is lightweight and has excellent conductivity and stability, so it has the potential to be applied in various ways. That's all. Thank you for listening.